Uh, as you know, oceans have, have been central to the history of Portugal since the 16th century. For us, the sustainable management of the oceans is a fundamental strategic priority. The Oceans Conference that will be held in Lisbon at the end of the month will be the second UN Ocean Conference. The first one took place in, in 2017, and back then we could facilitate it together with Singapore, the declaration, our ocean, our future, call for action. It is a call that is still very relevant after five years. Afterwards, we were also actively involved in the pursuit of a standalone goal dedicated to the ocean under the United Nations 2030 Agenda. These efforts resulted in the adoption of the SDG 14, Conserve and Sustainably Use of the Oceans, Seas and Marine Resources for Sustainable Development. In, in this context, everyone may be asking why there is a need for a new ocean conference. There is a need because the deadline set for 2030 agenda is approaching rapidly and because successful management of the oceans is central to achieving our collective goals. In 2017, the first UN Ocean Conference raised awareness about these issues. We now have a renewed sense of urgency. In fact, half of the targets under Goal 14 should have been met by 2020. We now need to take stock of the progress achieved so far, but most importantly, we need to agree on decisive action to move forward. As the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, put it, we ask all delegations to the UN conference to bring a plan, not a speech. This is the thinking behind it. that is being the choice of the team for the Ocean Conference which is scaling up ocean action based on science and innovation for the implementation of Goal 14, stock taking, partnership and solutions. At the UN Ocean Conference, we will pursue the following goals. First, we want to highlight the ocean climate nexus in order to support ambitious ocean-based solutions in climate action, thus contributing to deliberations of COPs 27 and 28 of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Second, we want to keep the momentum towards successful biodiversity beyond national jurisdictions negotiations, where we expect to fill in the gaps on international ocean governance directed at preserving the marine environment the sustainability of resources, and the conservation of ecosystems. Third, we want to capitalize on the results achieved by the fifth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly, which agreed on negotiating a legally binding agreement to fight against plastic pollution and marine litter on a global scale. Fourth, we need to maintain high level of ambition in relation to biodiversity loss and the establishment of an international target of conservation of 30% of the marine environment. Fifth, underline the importance of science decision-making interface and our joint commitment to the United Nations Decades of Ocean Science for sustainable development and ecosystems restoration. Finally, We want to build on the outcomes of the first UN Ocean Conference. Those are our ambitions for this conference. Our expectation is that the conference will adopt an action-oriented declaration focusing on science-based and innovative areas of action to support the implementation of Goal 14. But apart from the declaration, we are attributing major importance to the interactive dialogues of the conference, which will provide an opportunity to evaluate the most relevant and pressing issues related to the implementation of SDG 14 from different perspectives. Marine pollution, 
blue economy, protection and restoring marine and coastal ecosystems, ocean acidification, fisheries, the law of the sea, marine technology transfer. These are some of the themes that we are going to be focusing on. We have been working hard to ensure that we have the active involvement of civil society, the scientific community, academia, private sector, financial and corporate, non-governmental organizations and youths. The effective engagement of all major stakeholders is essential. In this context, we are planning several special events on the sidelines of the UN Ocean Conference. A sustainable blue investment and innovation forum aimed at creating a closer link between the private sector, including the financial sector and the blue economy. We will seek to launch a process for agreeing on sustainable blue economy standards. It will hopefully become a guide for financial instruments and investment decisions, and for promoting the matching between those that have the solutions and those that have the financial means to implement them. We, we will also have a youth and innovation forum that will promote ocean and science literacy among younger generations. The sustainability of the oceans cannot be separated from the sustainable management of water. It is crucial to build bridges and develop a comprehensive strategy that considers the entire water cycle. This is the purpose of the high-level symposium on water, bridging SDG 6 and SDG 14. And we will have an event focusing on the roles and responsibilities of local and regional governments called Localizing Action for the Ocean, local and regional governments. The success of the UN Ocean Conference will depend on our joint capacity to inspire and to mobilize, harnessing political will, innovative ideas, scientific knowledge, and necessary resources to bring about a meaningful transformation in the way in which humankind interacts with the ocean. We are strongly encouraging all member states to present innovative and action-oriented solutions and to submit ambitious voluntary commitments towards the implementation of Goal 14 and associated targets. The world is going through a difficult time and so are our oceans. We, we have to use this opportunity to create a truly transformative moment to reverse the decline of ocean health and to ensure the sustainable use of ocean resources for present and future generations. And of course, to prove that international governance of our global commons is not an impossible ambition. Thank you very much.